Hey everybody, it's Colin here and I'm at uh, Henny Bosman's residence and I just uh, wanted to speak to Henny today and just sort of get your views around uh, this current state of flux that we're in at the moment. Um, I think it's no secret, um, everybody's, there's a lot of panic going on and everything around the coronavirus. Um, Sunday we had an announcement from our president and um, I think on Monday you got notice from uh, Western Cape uh, Sports Department that everything needs to cease. Um, all training, all clubs and activities and um, I really just wanted to come and like get your view in terms of what are you doing as a business, how is this impacting your business and um, you know how do you carry on doing business in these really uncertain times where everybody's panicking? You know Colin, it, it, it is a concern but you know the, the motto of Kyokushin Karate is to go and never to give up and myself and my instructors we feel like we will not give up we have almost 1,000 students, which we all care for, which we want to teach, which we can't teach at this stage. Not physically, but we decided that we'll teach them through a digital platform. We will put um, training videos together, tips together, and also use this time to, to, to teach them other stuff of martial arts, which they're not aware of. You know, why we do certain things and what is the background of Kyokushin. Tell them about Sosei Masuyama, who started Kyokushin. And, you know, the founder of karate in Africa, Shanlin Barnes, um, he's always been a, um, a role model to me. And he started karate um, after the Second World War, after he fought against the Japanese in Burma. And a few years later, <laughs> he started training with the Japanese. Okay. But the first few years, he only learned from a book, and he was already in his 40s. And he had a lot of problems, like the police locked him up for teaching black people and so on. Wow. And um, he never gave up and he had tremendous problems. So we will not give up. We will keep on teaching. We will make a plan. Our students are very close and dear to us. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a very, very nice job to, to work with the kids. And um, every little kid is important and we try to be role models to them, to teach them to prepare them for the, for the future and um, to teach them to be strong, not to give up, to persevere and um, fitness is important for health so we don't want them to stop training. You know our kids are, are really some of the six, seven year olds they can do a lot of exercises, they're strong, they're supple so we want to keep on doing that and we, we can send them videos and, and information and I, I think we can actually turn this right around into something positive. Yeah, Henny, I think exactly that. And I mean, I must be honest with you, when I got the news on, when I say not we got the news, when I watched the news and the president's announcement on Sunday, I really just, I started to say, well, is this the beginning of the end? And I mean, I know that sounds quite dramatic, but you know, at the end of the day, you look at all the small businesses and we're all in this together. Uh, we're all in the same situation, but the truth be told is that small business and even large business for that matter, I mean airlines and all that, they're all going to feel the impact of it. But I think what was really, really promising for me is I went down to your dojo today just to try and get a temperature of what the guys are doing, not so much what they're doing, but just what the mood was like. And I'll be honest with you, I was pleasantly surprised. I walked in there and you've got all your instructors. Every single one of them had smiles on their faces. And every single one of them was involved in some way, shape or form in terms of doing something positive. So what I witnessed firsthand is people using their phones for the first time, not looking at social media, but filming and actually getting tutorials and videos out and having a lot of fun doing it. So to me, it was quite, it was refreshing. And I think, um, you know, compliments to you for, you know, sort of guiding the people and keeping them positive because, um, you know, that's just really what we need right now. So maybe for the other businesses, you know, what, what advice or what, what can you share with them at the moment? Because, you know, things are really tough, let's face it. Yeah, I want to put a challenge out there to other businesses, you know, around us here. Guys, find solutions to your problem. Don't look at the problem, find a solution. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody still needs to eat and drink and, 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 and travel to a certain extent, maybe not with enterprise now. But you know, the, the cell phone has always been a concern to me because as young students, they sit on their phones so much. But now is a way we can actually use the cell phone to make them stronger, to teach them karate mm -hmm. and, um, and, and for a positive way. So I, I think um, the other businesses, guys, 
let's uh, pull up your socks, let's be positive, let's work together, let's support each other. Mm. And, and, and I think find a solution by being positive, by, um, you know, if you, if you can't sell aeroplane tickets, you sell something else, mm. you know. Absolutely. So guys, there you have it. Um, that's what Henny's doing in his business. And I think it really is refreshing. And I think the challenge has been laid out to all of you there. If you've got a business and you're struggling, or I think we're all struggling in that sense, but if you, you know, try and look for the positive, try and see what you can do differently. And there's the challenge out there. Henny, maybe um, the content you're going to put out, um, I think we look forward to consuming it. I had a, a brief glimpse at what the guys were doing. Um, it was a lot of fun and I think some of the parents are going to be very grateful as well because, you know, here's the other challenge is you're sitting right now with kids, you know, it's supposed to be a two-week holiday, now we've got a month, you know, they're going to be sitting at home, a lot of them in this what we call self-isolation, so I think to a large degree your content's going to be great timing, um, you know, if they consume it, um, I think some of the parents are going to be quite, uh, quite happy about that, that there's some extra things that they can do and obviously keep their skills up. Uh, some of the parents won't go to, to gym, for instance. Sure. So I want to challenge them also to train with the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, just doing some kicks and punches and push-ups and sit-ups and stretching mm -hmm. and, and some jogging. You know, uh, train with your kids. And, um, look at the... Uh, it, 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 it's so nice to train with your kids. You know, I'm fortunate to, that my two boys both train karate with me. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it, you know, do, do it with your kids. Mm -hmm. um, can train at home. You don't need a dojo to train. Mm. We will also uh, surprise the students with, with several challenges, things they must do. Okay. And I think we're going to send it, start sending it out uh, by, by Friday, uh, which is about uh, two days from now. It will be the latest it will go out. Sure. They can start. Look forward to that. So guys, that's it. Uh, thanks so much for your time, Henny. I think just the passing comment from me out there is that uh, just in terms of my dealings with businesses out there, I want to sort of encourage all consumers, you know, people where you're consuming a service and uh, your service has been interrupted in whatever way, shape or form. Um, if you're on a membership or you're on a subscription service, just uh, think about the businesses behind, you know, who are delivering that service, who don't have the ability to do it. If you can afford it, um, keep paying your membership fees, whatever it is, or your subscriptions or supporting businesses in other ways. I think that's the message out there because this is a challenge and it's a challenge for everyone. Um, I think uh, we just don't want to see, you know, small businesses and we want to see communities get broken apart um, because they've had to close down. So that's the message. Henny, thanks for the, 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 the ray of hope and the, the positivity in a, a, a situation that uh, a lot of people are thinking it's quite dire. Thanks very much. Yes, you know, your cushion car has been on, on that corner here in Yopte Yafar for 40 years and we will do our utmost that is there for at least another 40 years. Fantastic.